This Saturday, January 20th, Thetic Pluto, planet of destruction, moves from Capricorn to Aquarius for the next 20 years, with a little revert for three months later this year. This configuration cycles every 300 years, and the last time it occurred, major world revolutions happened, such as French, Industrial, American, which completely transformed history. This configuration of Aquarian energy forces power to be shifted from tyrants back to the masses where it belongs. This is where humanity rises from the ashes. This marks the liberation from slavery programming. We will be officially shifting into the true age of Aquarius. Kali Yuga, the age of darkness, is finally ending. Manifestation of the defeat of Satan and his entire minion network is official from this date on. It's time to disassemble millennia of parasite control and feeding frenzy. They're finally on their way out. This is a multi-dimensional timeline quantum jump for liberation. We are marching into the most important time in history of this universe and multiverse. It's going to be an incredible year for all coming out of three years of intensive toxicity purge, DNA activation, and energetic torment. Two plus zero plus two plus four, 2024. If you add all the numbers together, you get an eight. Number eight symbolizes abundance, manifestation, reaping what you sowed, freedom, power, breakthroughs, leadership, authenticity, and success. Soon to be the year of dragon on February 10th, the new moon, which is the most powerful and the only mystical sign of the Chinese zodiac. The dragon is known for its wisdom, resilience, depth, and untamed courage. The dragon is the sovereign overseer of worlds, fiercely protective of those he loves, and slave to no one. This is the year of the rise of the underdog, the rise of the divine masculine, illumination, truth, light, rises through the true servants of God. Divine masculine's awakening and coming into power, rising to take action, is fed by the elevation and awakening of their divine female counterpart. The Divine Feminine has many embodiments, Kali being one of them. This integration of her dark rage brings her into authenticity and power through death and rebirth, which also propels the male counterpart to wake up and rise. Note that the embodiment of Kali is necessary, as nasty and shocking as she may seem. It helps the Divine Feminine purge her people-pleasing tendencies and many, many insecurities. Female energy is yin and receptive. She is the master of spiritual navigation and the sacred connection. The masculine energy is the giver and the sun, the one to take action and carry out visions of the feminine. Whether he has met her or not, they subconsciously share a complementary mission. The Divine Masculine's energy is directly influenced by the inner ascension of their Divine Feminine counterpart. In other words, the female healing and taking her power back unavoidably influences her Divine counterpart's spirit and evolution. The two exist as one energy field, one soul incarnated in two bodies, so their evolutions can never be separate. This is also why the male energy lags behind the spiritual ascension of the female. The female is the leader of the spiritual realm, the alpha of the spiritual realm, who in turn helps her male counterpart navigate wisely in the matrix. Note that by divine counterpart, I do not refer to your husband or wife or boyfriend and girlfriend in 3D. I'm referring to the spiritual counterpart ordained by God, aka the twin soul whether the physical encounter has happened or not this is a purely internal connection an eternally unbreakable marriage union reunion may seem unreachable to the mind right now 
but it will take place at divine timing. It's an unavoidable force of nature as twin souls truly belong together. Once tyranny or this parasitical energy leaves the planet, twin souls will manifest each other like true magnets, transcending time, space, and any 3D obstacles, collapsing timelines and dimensions, embodying purity, stepping into their dharma. This will bring the energy of heaven on earth through their sacred hearts. January 20th, where Pluto moves to Aquarius, marks the timeline where power will be taken back by humanity where it belongs by birthright. False prophets will fall, pretenses will be exposed, many systems will collapse, true leaders and teachers will rise to heal and empower, and this is the time where we ride the increasing vibration of the planet back home.